Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Incubator, and today I would like to announce our four-year anniversary here of the channel. Not the Innkeeper exactly, but of me making videos on this channel on YouTube, not including the time that it transitioned from Game of Thrones to the Innkeeper, but all of it, all together. Well, I mean, I am, I am including that, I mean. This is, <laughs> this is... It's put together very well. It's the morning now. Hmm. Ah. I have a cup of tea. That probably sounded disgusting. I hope it did. And I am one day late. I was meant to make this video for the 27th, but unfortunately it's not the case. And it will have to go up on the 28th. Very busy yesterday. Not too busy today, which is fantastic. I get to relax, sit back, look back on the channel, feel good about it. I usually use these videos as a sort of uh, vlog, I suppose, or um, highlight. Not really a highlight. Uh, I mean, I make a highlight video, but that was for the 1000 video. Video, which is very important. Video, video. There we go. Probably should stop saying video now. <laughs> Probably starting to get a little bit stuck. Probably starting to get a little bit annoying. Had a little bit of an attack there. It's fine. Yes, I use I use these videos as a sort of um, update vlog kind of video. Last year I talked about pretty much what was going on with the channel, plus a live stream event. We actually started doing Saturday live streams. A year ago exactly. It's weird. I didn't think I'd stick with it. I thought I'd just do it for that Saturday and then from then on probably every now and again just as some sort of an event. But no, we kept doing it because it was really fun and we've met some great people while doing it including everyone that likes to join us on the live streams and it's been it's been amazing actually. I'm really glad I went through with it otherwise I wouldn't have been able to meet such wonderful people. So there we go. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm getting a little bit emotional now. <laughs> it's, it's not emotional. I wouldn't say I'm getting emotional, but you know, it's just pretty cool. I think uh, cathartic would probably be a good word to use when expressing myself and the current situation that I am with the channel. It's pretty fantastic. Not to mention how amazing last year was when it came to growth. This year as well looks quite promising and it's just great to see. I'm very happy with it. And I'm glad I've stuck through it throughout all these uh, four years. It's helped me in more ways than I can really imagine, I should say. Although it probably made me a little bit less social, it probably didn't help that much. Then again, the Saturday live streams have pretty much bounced back on that, which has made me once again quite social. So so there we go. That's, that's pretty great. Anyway, just letting those know that one Minecraft 1 1.9 is actually updating on Monday, so we're going to be doing a stream on that on Saturday. We were going to do it this week, but it was postponed, as it usually is on Minecraft updates. Har, 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 har. So yes, we're going to be doing that. I imagine we're going to be doing the same thing we tried to do last time we tried to play Minecraft Default, which is pretty much, I would say a year ago, but um, what we did on the third anniversary, uh, three year anniversary videos, we did a, uh, a live stream to uh, try and defeat the Ender Dragon in one day. Obviously, well, not one day, but in like five hours or something like that. Didn't work out, obviously. It's probably not going to work out the same uh, to, de well, this live stream that's coming up, but we'll give it a good ruddy go. I think that'd be fantastic. Lots more people can join this time round. I'm going to try and increase the amount of people that can join, maybe to 15 or 20. I'm not sure what I'm currently at. I can't imagine that many people are probably going to want to join playing Minecraft anyway, but you never know, just in case. Maybe people want to pop on for a little while, but maybe they all try and pop on at the same time. Obviously, I'm being a little bit, um, or maybe I'm counting a bit too high. I'm not too sure, but there we go. Also, 10,000 subscribers are just around the corner, and for those that are unaware, the video for that, the milestone video for that, will be a sort of little highlights reel of Merv's shenanigans. You will be able to see Merv and probably resemblance of my room as well. I should probably clean up. Merv's cage is a bit of a mess. I should probably clean that up as well. So, <laughs> I do like a light clean every now and again, but um, I have to do sort of a big clean. I mean, once a week, I do the hoovering because it's just a, a mess in here with a parrot. It's a mess in here after one day, but after a week, it's horrible. So I do the hoovering then. Then, after maybe every month, I would clean out his cage properly. I, sh I, I think I'm supposed to do it every two weeks, but it doesn't get that horribly bad enough for me to do it, to be honest with you. But yes, it's coming around, so I should probably get that done. Probably right after this, actually, <laughs> would be a good idea. Then... Also, um, I'm getting a smartphone as well soon, so <laughs> it's going to be through one of those. It's a new one anyway, so it should be okay quality-wise. Just don't expect sort of, I don't know, studio quality sound coupled with 
high fidelity 60 frames per second. I'm not too sure what the phone's really capable of when it comes to recording video, but it might be really good. I It might be ridiculously good, although it better be. So <laughs> it definitely better be considering the mobile plans that we have these days. My God, no wonder people don't have any money. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Just It's quite expensive though, the smartphone by the looks of by the looks of things, especially when most of them are sort of 24 month plans at like 40 quid. <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be a lot worse and it could be a lot better as well. I could just get like a shoddy old phone like I do right now. <laughs> but it's probably about time I actually keep up so I can stay a little bit more connected with the channel on the move, which is probably a good idea. So that's uh, pretty much the whole point of the mobile. Not only that though, but it means I could take pretty pictures and look back on my life in great vigor. <laughs> Great figure. I like that word, as you can probably tell. I use it quite a lot. I haven't actually started talking about the channel as a whole, other than just sort of letting you know about Merv and the 10,000 subscriber milestone video. I might add, I've not got the phone yet, so if we actually reach that any time within the next two weeks, then <laughs> I won't have a video for anyone. So just don't jump too quickly. That would be fantastic. Otherwise, I'll look like a complete and utter pleb, which would be pretty bad. We have the live stream video-wise. We're doing a lot of Don't Starve. Now, <laughs> Don't Starve is like an interesting series. Because I did do a series of Don't Starve a little while ago. In the form of... Well, actually, I did the original game. And I also did Maxwell's Door. We nearly completed it as well. We were pretty much on the last area. But we just got killed off because I wasn't fully prepared for it. As you probably wouldn't be first time. Since it's just... It's, just con it's always night time, basically. It's, it's horrible. It's really bad. You've got to pretty much... Be you. You should have at least played on it a few times before you could probably have the ability to complete that realm. Very difficult. Now we are doing the shipwrecked version or DLC that came out for the game, and I might add, it's really good DLC. If no one's actually played Don't Starve for a little while now, but you know, still, well, if you haven't played Don't Starve for a little while, but you got that itch, I definitely recommend Shipwrecked. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. It almost feels like a completely different game. Obviously coupled with the same mechanics. But that is uh, pretty fantastic. Um, as for Timber and Stone, that is a series, or at least season 3 anyway, that we have been playing for more than a year now. Um, coupled with all the seasons that we've had with Timber and Stone, it's more than two years old. It's definitely been the flagship game for the channel. It's, it's been great. It's been amazing. Especially 1.6 revitalized my want to play the game. But that's a year ago now, and we've only had 1.7 as an update. Uh, which, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to make another season for 1.7 after I'm done with season 3. I think after that, I might be either done with it or I'll wait until the game has another significant update. Then I'll probably go back to it. But to be honest with you, the um, updating or development of the game is really slow. And I'm pretty sure it's actually postponed now. So I'm not too sure if they're really going to go back to it. And to be honest with you, if they're if the developers are done with it, don't worry about it, in my opinion. Because you've the game you've made right now is amazing. I put two years into it. So, I mean, I put one year into the 1.6 update. I haven't played 1.7 because I don't prefer it. I do prefer 1.6, to be honest with you. Just because it's more... It, it, it requires less work on the combat and more just on the... Uh, what's the word? Creative, that's it. There's more of a creative side to it than a 1.7 offers. Also, 1.7 is ridiculously hard. I wouldn't say ridiculously hard, but you're probably going to die sooner rather than you would in 1.6. Actually, you won't die after a point in 1.6, whereas it's 1.7, you will die eventually. <laughs> so I just don't want all my creations to go to waste, I suppose. That's really me. Maybe it's selfish. I don't know. But seriously, though, if they don't really feel like going onwards with the game... Don't sweat it, to be honest. I've had my money's worth. I imagine much, much uh, many other people have had their money's worth. So, but yeah, it's it's a great game. Seriously, it's it's really good. And I would I would suggest it every time someone's looking for a sandbox survival game with Minecraft isometric mechanics. Um, it would definitely be great. Is that really the the right way to describe Tim Redstone? Off the top of my head, without doing any forward analysis, yes, I would say that's probably what comes up in my head first. <laughs> so there we are. 
As for Stonehurf, a very similar game to Timber and Stone, we have started a new series, Welcome to North Point, a much more Nordic style. I always like to have a nice little style with my builds. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing after North Point. I'm not sure how long it's going to take until Alpha 15 comes out. I imagine a little while, uh, just because Alpha 14 came by fairly quickly, in my opinion. We didn't get too far in on the S Welcome to June Town series. I, for some reason, just started saying S there. Or <laughs> holding the S. Yeah, welcome to June Town. We also didn't do too much with Welcome to Tree Blossom. I hope we actually get back to doing that eventually. Maybe right after this season, we try and go back to the sort of more Japanese style or more Asian style of building architecture. Just because we didn't fully explore it before. I did do a lot of time lapses, which I felt like sort of filled in the hole that would have been left behind if we didn't do any time lapses to show off some neat building designs. I am glad I'm doing these time lapses, by the way. It's like another way of doing some exercise, I suppose, on building without it filling up an entire episode. I've realized I do that quite a lot with Stonehurf. In fact, the new season, Welcome to North Point, I think does start off with like two episodes just being building. I'm going to try and put that down a little bit. Obviously, you're going to want to see some buildings. That's basically the other half of the game. But, you know, a little bit less, is it, less of it, maybe, because I usually have a lot of difficulty building something that looks relatively okay while also commenting on it in the background. Just, I, I don't know, I just have a little bit more trouble with it, probably because half of my brain power, I suppose, is being put into commentary, which I might add is definitely, it's definitely difficult to do. If you're seeing people doing stupid things in games like I do all the time when doing a Let's Play, you got to make sure that you remember that they're not paying full attention to the game like someone else would otherwise do. So, there we go. That's, I don't know why I said that. It's like a sidetracked from actual Stonehurst discussion. I do love the, uh, the time lapses also because recently I think they fixed the schematic system. So now I can actually use the buildings that I create in the time lapses in the series, which is going to help out tremendously. It also means that instead of making an entire new house, I can just rip apart the one that we've already got, make one that looks slightly different, remove some key features, and there we go. That's a different looking house that fits with the design. Just, you know, maybe I took out a window, and maybe I took out, took out the chimney, or maybe I just changed the roof design altogether. Saved it, and it's all fantastic. I think all I really need to do is find out how to delete all the broken schematics that I have in my schematic sheet just to clean up a little bit because at the moment you can't use any of them. They're just, it makes it a little bit annoying to just sort of cycle through all the schematics to try and find the one that actually works. <laughs> so there we are, Stonehurf. Uh, Planet Base is finished, unfortunately. That was a great game and I do feel like the last four episodes of the series were probably also the most productive. I said series there, uh, series. They were probably the most productive. I did a ridiculous amount of expansion as well as looking at some new patents. We got lots of money as well. We even looked at the more in-depth mechanics of the game being to accept quests and help people, which is very cool. We didn't explore that too much, but I'm glad we did towards the end of the series. I have decided, however, that the next game will be City Skylines, mostly because the Snowfall update has come out, has come out. So I'm going to be looking through that. I've already made three episodes for it. However, it's going to be in a more episodic format as opposed to what I usually do, which is sort of parts where I just do one long playthrough and then cut it up. I think I would probably, I'm probably going to start doing more episodic styles of gameplay in the future just because it means I can have a nice little break in between episodes and that helps tremendously. I, I didn't realize how much it would help until I started doing it in the City Skyline series. I feel a lot more pumped. It gives me time to stop, think about what I'm going to do, which makes it means we're going to get a lot more progress at the same time. I think the only downside for it is it because it's episodic, people will think that I am doing one episode and then just waiting until it's uploaded and then people are going to comment and do that kind of thing. I don't really have time to do that, so I, I just have to do the free videos on the one session. That's why I even do the, the long sessions anyway, because I can't upload a video, well, do one video, then wait until it's uploaded and then wait for comments and then do a recording. I, I just, my schedule doesn't really work in that. If I was doing it full time, then yeah, I would do that, no problem, to be honest with you, because that means I can actually respond to the community very quickly, act upon it, and work from there. And that's what I want to get to uh, at some point, anyway, where my videos aren't just all backlogged up and waiting to be put on the shelf, as it were, 
for consumption. Instead, I can just make one video for each series, wait till it's uploaded, and go on from there. And it, it, it would be a lot better, to be honest with you, and help with progression at the same time. Because, like I just said, you have the ability to have a break, think about what you're doing, think about what everyone else would prefer you do, and it, it makes for a more... Is it organic? <laughs> right word. It's an organic theories. You won't understand it. <laughs> it makes it for a more in-depth, in enriched series. I think there's a rich series. That's a much better word for it. Uh, other than that, shopkeep. I might add Battle Brothers is actually going to update on the 29th, which is tomorrow. And I think I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing with shopkeep. I, get, I said shoppy keep there. Shopkeep. I don't really want to leave it, so I might just do like an hour special as the last video. I don't know because... Right now, we still got so much to do though, especially on the, the refresh of the series. But to be honest with you, I'm not too sure... Like, let me know. Let me know what, what, your, what your thoughts are on Shopkeep. Should I just stop doing Shopkeep and go to do Battle Brothers? Or, well, I, I wouldn't stop doing Shopkeep. But do you want me to just do sort of the one hour special and get that done and then start doing some Battle Brothers? I mean, Shopkeep, I think, would be a lot more popular than Battle Brothers, but I do love that game to death. So, I love both of them, but we, we haven't... I mean, it's Shopkeep episode 26, and I upload one of those weekly, which means it's been... I think there's only two weeks where I've uploaded two of them, so it's been 24 weeks of Shopkeep. That's... I think that's long enough, to be honest with you, especially since I have one weekly series, three normal series, and actually four normal series now, I suppose. And I think that's it, actually. Oh, yeah, and the occasional sort of time-lapse that always uploads on a Friday. I'm trying to keep on top of that, but time-lapses are time-consuming, as you may imagine. So, so yeah, try and try and get more of those done. Just trying a few smaller models, if it, I think is what I'm going for. Not something too big. Although, I'm, I've actually got a pretty cool idea for a Nordic sort of keep design, which uh, actually takes a few... Uh, um, what's the word? A few royalties, I suppose, from another design that I am quite fond of. So you you might look forward to seeing that in the future. Should be rather fantastic, although extremely time consuming. I'm going to have to make sure I have a week of not needing to do many recordings in order to get that done. But it should be an amazing video and hopefully everyone will enjoy that. Yes, we did do a live stream event as well for Timber and Stone. I think we have one more of those left. I actually don't know if we should... I It's definitely one more or none. To be honest with you, I don't think I want to leave it on n none. So I might just do one more live stream video to cap it all off. I'm not just sure, not video, a live stream event. I'm not sure when that's going to be, but definitely towards the end of the series. Probably when we have to put in a few more houses after we've done the town hall. I'm not just sure when we're going to start on the town hall, but I think it's going to be quite soon. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pretty sure I've talked about everything I feel like talking about, or at least off the top of my head. I probably missed something, like a bits and pieces here and there, but maybe I'll add them in in annotations later on, but that's most probably not the case, because by the time I remember them, someone's probably already mentioned it in the comments. So, so there we go. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Four-year anniversary, ladies and gentlemen. Quite cathartic. There we go. I you probably noticed I've used that word twice. It's it's a new one. I have written it down because I feel like it's a it's a good word. It is a very good word. Four years. It's I mean I remember doing the three year anniversary video. That thought that was just a week ago. <laughs> it's get, going by very quickly. I think it's because last year was really good. So I was just excited and ecstatic, and it went by like a breeze. It was great. This year as well. It looks like it's going to be just as good. I'm looking forward to. You know, seeing people's reactions to Merv. I mean, he looks like every other parrot. I'm not being a parrot racist. He's just, he's a gold blue macaw, but he's got a little bit of character, which is quite nice. So hopefully he's not camera shy. Although, to be honest with you, whenever I shove, shove anything that he thinks is a camera in his face, like my phone right here, he'll just stop. So he'll be like, what is that device? That is quite weird. I'm not going to do anything now for the duration of time that you point that thing in my face. <laughs> so there we go. Hopefully I can get some cool things of him. I might show the secret room as well. It's basically just under my bed. <laughs> it's under my bed. The other secret room as well, I'll show you that. I'm not gonna do, I mean, I guess I'll show a bits and bobs of my room as well. My, this, it's gonna, I'm not gonna try and do that too much anyway, because it's a bit of a mess. I don't wanna show myself as off as a little bit of a, a, uh, what's the word? I don't know. A buffoon? That's not the right word at all. Not buffoon. A hermit! There we go. Dirty hermit. I try and keep it clean. I really do. But having a parrot in the room, there's so much dust 
that comes from him. It's ridiculous, like parrot dust. You, you'll get it if you get a bird. There's lots of parrot dust. There's mess. There's seeds everywhere. I mean, there's got a bit of bulbs of parrot poop as well. That I try and clean up as quick as I possibly can before it dries to the wooden floor. You're a bastard, parrot. Come over here. Love me. He's, he's coming over. Anyway, hopefully that will be fantastic. Thank you all very much for sticking around. If you are new here, welcome. I am like this all the time, just talking. Not... Actually, I am. I talk all the time, and I'm very quick as well. I've noticed I need to slow down a little bit when I'm talking. I, I can't do it because I usually just talk very quickly. I, I sound like I'm panicked, whereas now I'm talking fairly slowly, and I just feel like I sound like a robot, which... <laughs> I'm not a robot! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next year for the uh, five-year anniversary. I'm probably going to have to do something a little bit more special for the five-year anniversary event, just because it's five years. That's like a milestone, you know, five years, then ten years, fifteen years. Every five years is like a big milestone event. So I'll try and get something done for that this year. I was hoping to do something this year, but I'm afraid <laughs> I just never have the bloody time and it annoyed the hell out of me. I was going to do the same thing I did on the first year, which was an anniversary week where I play like a new game every day, but I can't do that. There's just no time. I would. I was hoping to do a live stream every day and then make a highlights video for that. And I thought to myself, am I actually going to be able to do this competently? Because I don't want it to be half-assed like it probably would have been. I wanted it to be a proper representation of the channel, the amount of hard work that I put on to it, into it, and a thank you as well for those that are watching. But I just, I know, I knew it would end up being a complete farce, so I just stopped. I didn't want to do it. There we go. I do apologize about that, ladies and gentlemen. I might do a giveaway, but I'm not the one to do giveaways. I feel like it's a, it's a cheap way of getting views, <laughs> to be honest with you. So maybe I, I don't do that. Maybe I do that, but just I have no idea, to be honest with you, ladies and gentlemen. What game I, what game would I give away? Timber and Stone? I guess I could buy a bunch of copies of Timber and Stone and give it to that. Or Stonehearth. Sure. Why not? <laughs> there you go. Anyway, this is taking a bit too long for an outro, as it usually does. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all uh, next year. Or actually tomorrow. Or actually in a minute, because there'll be a video. So I'll see you then. <laughs> goodbye, everyone. Not goodbye. See you then. See you. Bye. Say goodbye, Merv. Of course, you're not going to say anything. Lazy parrot.